Yeah, hello guys, uh, welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Today we're going to talk about uh, a very important class in Android, okay? Async task. Now async task, it's an abstract class uh, that normally helps us perform uh, background operations while at the same time uh, giving us a very easy way, okay, of uh, publishing uh, updates to the graphical user interface, okay? So, I will start off with a brief presentation. Uh, async task, we've seen it has us perform tasks while updating the UI. But it has uh, a couple of methods, uh, four of which are very important. On, on pre execute method, uh, this method is normally called uh, just before the doing background method is called. So, let's say that you are developing and uh, uh, yeah, you are writing code that makes use of an async task. So, probably before the work begins, uh, you can do something here on the pre-execute then the heavy work uh, is normally done in the doing background method okay so this is where the main work is done and this method it works hand in hand with the on progress update method so the, the, it does this by it has a, it normally calls a method uh, a method known as publish progress okay so the publish progress sends a value uh, to the on progress update and the on progress update uh, updates the UI. Okay, so after the doing background uh, method is over, yeah, uh, uh, automatically the on post execute method is called. Okay, that is if you implemented it in your code. Remember that uh, from this async task class, it is this doing background method that is like compulsory. Okay, you have to implement it. Okay, so uh, on post execute method it's called uh, when the work is done. Yeah, and uh, I think that was a brief presentation, so it's time to move to the code. So please uh, fire up your IDE. Okay. Yeah, okay, so uh, I'm using Android Studio. Okay. Yeah, so you can use Eclipse or you can use any other IDE that suits you. So. Uh, to create a new activity, to create a new project, I mean, come to new project. Okay, type your project name, then next, uh, choose the minimum SDK, choose the blank activity. Yeah, and finally click finish. Okay, mine have already created. So, uh, my blank activity, uh, this is the activity main.xml. I'm going to input some few controls on top. Um, I'll just have a text view on top which will act as our title so uh, from the text view uh, I'll say uh, a sync task example and then id I'll give it txt title yeah then uh, the next thing is uh, a progress bar so make sure you choose the progress bar with progress bar horizontal okay and then another thing is a button so what we will basically do is that when the user clicks the button i uh, will start the background work while at the same time updating the ui so start i'll name it start button so, mm, yeah, maybe here is our button. So, uh, my progress bar, I'll give it a value of 350. Uh, my layout height, I'll give it, uh, like, let me try with something like 50 dp. Make sure you put the dp so that when you compile, uh, you don't get any errors. This is my progress bar. So this is my progress bar. Uh, this is my button. So we'll come to the main code. The first thing that we'll do is that we'll instantiate. We'll declare and instantiate the controls. We can say uh, button start. Uh, button and then progress bar pb 
make sure you import uh, your stuff just click alt control and uh -huh. this but this one also alt and the enter not control sorry so uh, I'll come and say start let me start with the PB yeah PB is equal to find V by ID okay so R dot ID dot progress bar then we cast it to progress bar alt enter again I'll come and say uh, start button is equal to file v by id then we pass r dot id dot start dot from it should be start button yeah start button no start button id so uh We'll cast it. Just put the cast over there, then Alt Enter Cast. Then let's set the buttons on click listener. Say start button. Let's set on click listener. Is equal to new view that on click listener. Okay, so it will generate for us some. No, I've made that error. Equal to new view. But on click listener. Yeah. So yeah, it will generate for us some plus. Uh, remember. Uh, this one should be here, he clicked. So, when the button is clicked, uh, this on-click on method will be called, and this is where we write our code for starting the async task, yeah? So, let's come and create a class, a class for the async task, okay? Come and say, uh, We'll call it my task. Uh, say just say plus my task. Yeah, extends async task. Yeah. So uh, in the async task, uh, we'll pass the string like integer and string as the parameter okay. then uh, given that this 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 class extends uh, async task we have to implement a uh, special one method uh, doing background with some must but before even we implement it we can also implement uh, the on execute method this method as we said in the presentation it's normally called uh, before they do it background and uh, the method responsible for uh, update which is on progress update okay then the last uh, method which is uh, on post execute this is the method is normally called host yeah so uh, so far I hope uh, we are on the same page okay Yeah, right, guys. So the first thing that probably would love to do is that when the pre-execute method is called, I probably would love to do some job. For now, I'll just display a post uh, message. So say post uh, dot make text. Yeah, the context uh, context will first get activity. Okay, because remember uh, this is a new class we are in. So um, get okay. Let's say get application context. 
okay then uh, the message I'll just say it probably uh, download starting okay and then uh, I'll pass the post the plant short then uh, the cell make sure our first message is visible then we come to the uh, being background class so here the first thing that we will do is first of all we will capture uh, the value uh, from the strings so just say string uh, url is equal to strings zero okay now to start the button strings after that one once we captured the value uh, we will now stimulate heavy work okay so to simulate it i'll just use a for it for it i is equal to zero i is less than or equal to 100 i plus plus okay then uh, I'll come and say uh, I'll, I'll use a thread um, to sleep for like uh, 100 milliseconds before update okay so try then thread that sleep I'll pass 100 milliseconds over there then you make sure that you catch uh, you know this is a thing anything can go wrong so interrupted exception probably we have to print it somewhere into the bag so say uh, e.print start trace okay then uh, I'll publish the progress to the update method okay so what we'll do is that we'll be sending a value from here okay for each uh, loop we'll be sending a value to the on update okay to this method here on update method okay so that it can update uh, the progress bar appropriately so just say publish progress and then we pass there like an integer so i i which is here okay so uh, probably another thing that we'd love to return is when the work is over we'd love to return this text here finished like finished uh, downloading then we come to the on progress update the on progress update method is the method responsible for uh, updating uh, the progress bar Go to the progress. Okay. So uh, what we'll do is just we'll say pb okay dot set progress. Then uh, the value that we pass there is the uh, value of zero. I mean, okay, this is values not value. So uh, what what will be happening is that this published progress it will be it will be sending an integer here okay then this integer it will be received by the on progress update then the on progress uh, in the, in this on progress update method uh, will be taking that value and setting it to the progress bar okay so that we update uh, the progress bar then uh, we'll come and in the on post execute method uh, we we'll just probably dismiss say that the whole thing is finished and dismiss the progress bar okay in fact i'll not even dismiss it i'll just say display a, t a, a toast and toast but no text get application context uh -huh. then remember uh, this on post execute it will receive some string okay the thing that we will be receiving will be from the do 
doing background method so basically this is what it will receive okay yeah yeah so guys uh, get application contracts okay then we pass the s okay now the s is the screen that will be received from the doing background method okay basically is this finished downloading so we pass it there then post dot length shop okay dot shop yeah so uh we now come to our remember that we wanted that when the back when the button is clicked we wanted to show okay to start uh the work okay the background work so what we basically do is that we will come and create a new instance of the my task class okay so say new my task dot execute okay then uh let's run now run the program and see yeah so guys uh before we run the project i've just noticed a mistake you see this string url here uh delete it okay or if you if you don't want to delete it okay yeah you i think you can just delete it because you're not using it here but if you want to leave it then come here and pass some string right here okay or else it will cause it will cause an array out of bounds exception. Okay, so let me delete it. Then we'll now let me run the project. Okay. Now when I run the project, you can see uh, the example is here. When I click the button, I expect uh, the progress bar to be updated. So when I click start. Okay, the download starting, then you can see the progress bar being updated, okay? And it's still responsive, okay? Okay, it finished, then finished downloading, okay? So, guys, uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, please, uh, if you've loved this uh, tutorial, uh, you can comment you can like the video you can subscribe okay you can share this video okay thank you and uh, have a nice day